Would you believe this is a country road in Africa? In this video, I take you to the central region of Ivory Coast where people from around the world troop to the largest church in the world. Then we head to a beautiful Ivory Coast border town where I expect to cross the border into either Liberia or Guinea Conakry for an experience of the local people of West Africa. One would almost think this road is taken from a movie. This is Ivory Coast in Africa. This is the quality of roads across the entire Ivory Coast from south to north, east and west. When you have roads like this across a village, it changes the way the people living in the villages see themselves and it changes the way we see the people. I left the country's economic capital Abidjan and headed to the country's capital city Yamasukro. Yamasukro is a city located in the central region of Ivory Coast, also known as Cote d'Ivoire. Yamasukro is known for its impressive Basilica of Our Lady of Peace. The Basilica of Our Lady of Peace, located in Yamasukro, Ivory Coast, is a stunning architectural masterpiece that is widely recognized as one of the largest churches in the world. The basilica was constructed between 1985 and 1989 at the behest of the then president of Ivory Coast, who wanted to build a grand church that would rival the Vatican's St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. The basilica's design is awe-inspiring, featuring soaring spires that reach a height of 158 meters, 518 feet, and a massive central dome that is 80 meters, 262 feet, high. Inside, the Basilica of Our Lady of Peace is just as impressive. The nave can accommodate up to 18,000 worshippers. The Basilica of Our Lady of Peace is not just a place of worship, but also an important symbol of national pride for Ivory Coast. The grandeur and scale of the Basilica are a testament to the country's ambition and its desire to be recognized as a major player on the world stage. From the Basilica, I proceeded to the Ivory Coast border town called Danane where I expected to cross the border into either Liberia or Guinea Conakry. Despite its natural and cultural attractions, Danane remains relatively unknown to most travelers, making it a hidden gem in Ivory Coast. It is a great place to visit for those who want to get off the beaten path and experience the beauty and diversity of this fascinating country. The distance from Yamasukuro to Danane in Ivory Coast is approximately 345 kilometers by road. The journey provides an opportunity to explore the countryside and witness the changing landscape as you travel towards the western region of the country. On arriving in the town of Danane, I was immediately charmed by the beautiful skies and the atmosphere. But what I found more interesting are the people I interacted with ahead so keep watching. Danane is a town located in the western region of Ivory Coast also known as Cote d'Ivoire. It is situated near the border with Liberia and has a population of approximately 25,000 people. Danane is known for its natural beauty, with lush forests, waterfalls, and wildlife that attract visitors from around the world. One of the most popular attractions in Danane is Mount Tankui, which is the highest mountain in western Ivory Coast. The mountain offers stunning views of the surrounding landscape and is a popular spot for hiking and camping. Visitors can also explore the nearby forest reserves, which are home to a wide variety of animal and plant species. I needed to be careful with what I eat to avoid getting sick on the journey. Still a lot of traveling ahead.
The journey by car took around six hours. There are several transportation options available. Private taxis are available in Yamasukuro, and there are also bus companies that operate services. I tried to get some reliable information about the condition at the border. I wanted to know which was the best way for crossing into Guinea. I was amazed how friendly and helpful Ivorians in the town of Dinain are. They told me I can take a taxi directly to the border post and cross easily. I was able to get a decent hotel to pass the night before proceeding to cross the border and continue my journey. The next morning I decided to try out the local sandwich and tea before hitting the road. It was very cheap and cost only about a dollar. Despite the occasional disputes, the border between Ivory Coast and Guinea Republic is generally peaceful and open to travelers. There are several border crossings that are accessible by road, with the most popular being the crossing at Paglo, which connects the Ivorian village of Tulplu to the Guinean town of Gigdu. That is where I am heading to cross into the Guinea Republic. Crossing the border between Ivory Coast and Guinea Republic requires a valid passport or national ID card if you are from West Africa. Visitors are advised to check the latest travel advisories and border regulations before embarking on their journey, as these can change at short notice. For me, I made sure to ask questions at Dainane, and I was told I can use this border. I was able to have my passport stamped and paid 2,000 CFA. In my next video, I will be continuing to cross the Guinea border into Guinea. I understand Guinea is a military-ruled country and the immigration officers are army personnel. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please take a little time to like this video and subscribe to support the channel.